just ended first African Prosperity Dialogue, dubbed the Kwahu Summit, recently concluded in Ghana. The dialogue was held under the theme AFCFTA from Ambition to Action, Delivering Prosperity Through the Continental Trade, initiated by the government of Ghana under the patronage of President Nana Akufo Adu, together with the AFCFTA Secretariat and the African Prosperity Network. Namibia's High Commissioner to Ghana, Selma Ashipala Musavi, together with officials from the mission and the Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board, attended the engagement. And she now joins us on the line for a discussion on that engagement. High Commissioner, good evening and welcome. Uh, good evening, Blanche, and thank you for having me. All right, then. Now, High Commissioner, what are some of the points that Namibia or, uh, or the mission in this regard, together with NIPDB, brought forward at the Maiden Summit? Well, um, first of all, as you have correctly mentioned, uh, this summit was an initiative of Ghana together with ACTA and the Africa Prosperity Network. There were seven uh, panel uh, that made up the discussion, and the panel discussions range from what it will take for us to catapult Africa to prosperity. Uh, we discuss issues with re uh, having regard to infrastructure, food and energy deficit, leveraging finance, technology and innovation addressing critical legal and institutional constraints, facilitating the movement of people across borders, as well as uh, security and involving the diaspora. As far as Namibia is concerned, we were of the view that what it will take for Africa to move from ambition to action is first of all to see ourselves as Africans, mm -hmm. first and foremost, to cooperate instead of competing all the time, to buy African, in other words, to consume what we produce. So those were some of the contribution that Namibia made because we believe that that is really the starting point because most of the issues that were discussed, we have policies, we have programs, what is needed is action. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, High Commissioner, the barriers to trade are some of the, the uh, most identified uh, issues when it comes to speaking about the implementation of the African free trade area. So in this regard, you have barriers such as uh, no, uh, can some countries still requiring visas to enter and all the others. So in this regard, High Commissioner, what was said and decided on? Uh, you are right. There are various um, barriers of trade, uh, including tariffs. With regard to movement of uh, people, it was decided that what we need is to have a special mechanism that will facilitate the African private sector. So we decided that a dialogue uh, need to be initiated for the African uh, Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat to work closely with the Department of Health, Humanitarian and Social Affairs of the African Union to develop a specific mechanism to facilitate the movement of business persons. As you might know, some countries are already ahead. They have adopted the visa on arrival. Mm -hmm. Others have started giving five to ten years visas for business people. So it was felt that given the security implications of free movement of persons, let the African Union as the African Continental Free Trade Secretariat to come up with a mechanism where perhaps they'll devise a special traveling document, which will be... Uh, at least uh, used by African countries so that business people can start to move. African uh, governments can only create a conducive atmosphere for African trade. It's business people that will do the 
three things. Mm -hmm. Do you think, High Commissioner, that some of the recommendations from uh, this engagement would uh, be discussed at the next week's AU summit? I think so, because the purpose was really to bring the policymakers and the private sector in one room to say, given that the AU Assembly have decided that the theme for this year is accelerating implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Mm -hmm. What input can the private sector make? So the outcome from this summit will then be part of the AU program in implementing this theme. All right, then. Well, thank you so much for that update, High Commissioner. Any other outcome that you think is pertinent you'd like to share? I think the outcome really that I want to bring to the fore is uh, the decision of African countries to say that if we want to be relevant to the fourth industrial revolution, African countries need to relook at our education system to make sure that it speaks to the imperatives of industrialization, imperatives of science and technology. And I think this is something that we really need to interrogate because for us to develop, we must make sure that we industrialize. So I just thought that I need to single out that outcome. All right, then. Well, thank you so much, High Commissioner, for that update. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Namibia's High Commissioner to Ghana, Selma Ashipala Musavi, on the just-ended African Prosperity Dialogue that was dubbed as the Kwahu Summit that concluded in Ghana.